Okay. Uh, a very good evening uh, to all the brothers uh, in Christ. So today we are going to see and study about uh, uh, one, uh, you see, uh, person about whom uh, is never spoken in any of the churches. So many people uh, fear a lot uh, to speak about, uh, you see, this person, you see, and uh, but uh, to a surprise, uh, it is mentioned uh, about him in the first book of the Bible as well as, well as uh, in the last book of the Bible. And he is the cause of sin in this world. And who is this? If you see, it is none other than our adversary, the devil. So, uh, we being, uh, you see, the Bible students, uh, it is our duty to study the scriptures uh, you see, to study and understand more about, uh, you see, uh, the word of God and the devil. There are nearly more than 60 scriptures in the Bible, you see, uh, which speaks about uh, our adversary. Uh, Jesus calls him the prince of this world. You see, an apostle Paul calls him the God of this world. Peter calls him our adversary. So, there is a lot of reference uh, about the devil, you see, about Satan in the Bible. If these great uh, apostles and our Lord has spoken about him, then surely there is nothing wrong to speak about the adversary. You see, and moreover, Apostle Paul tells one important uh, thing uh, in 2 Corinthians 2.11. Uh, can you please read 2 Corinthians 2.11? Any brothers, brother, uh, Joel brother, Munaster, anybody can read 2 Corinthians 2.11. 2.11, 2, brother. Ah. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Very good. See, lest uh, Satan should take uh, advantage of us, uh, but we are, you see, not aware of his, uh, what, uh, of his? Office? What? Office what? Read the words. Advices. Ah, his devices. You see, that means there is a particular technique and a particular way how Satan attacks us. You see, when Satan tries to, you see, deceive us, there is a technique. Uh -huh. And Apostle Paul, you see, he clearly tells uh, that we are not uh, ignorant of his devices. That means uh, Satan attacks us and we need to be clearly understand what are his techniques. Uh, you see, how he attacks us, uh, you see, then only we can overcome the, you see, devil. Therefore, it is very, very important, uh, you see, to study about the devil. First of all, the main thing is that the false conception about the devil. You see, the false conception of the devil is that, uh, you see, um, uh, is like a, you see, uh, a devil, a strong, uh, a very ferocious looking, you see, being, uh, having two horns on his head, his eyes is red, uh, full of uh, fire, you see, he's having a four canine teeth, uh, sharp nails, uh, big tail, a dark feature, and as he opens his mouth, only fire comes like a dragon. See, the Bible uh, never gives this picture. Uh, we all know very well, you see, when God created uh, all the Christians, it was beautiful. Even Lucifer, when he was created, uh, he was created as the bright, he was created as the one of the morning stars. Uh, he was, uh, you see, created beautiful, uh, so let us read that verse in Ezekiel 28. You see, uh, Ezekiel 28 chapter, verse 12, 13 and 15. Uh, Muna, sister, can you read, sister? To 14, brother. Uh, 28 chapter, 12, 13 and 15.
son of man son of man take up a lamentation upon the king of tyrus and say unto him thus said the lord god thou sealest of the psalm full of wisdom and perfect in beauty mm, thou see, full of wisdom perfect in beauty so lucifer is not a what uh, as the people imagine is perfect in wisdom and full of beauty then continue sir ah thou hast been in eden the garden of god every precious stone was thy covering the sardius to pass and the diamond the beryl the onyx and the jasper the sapphire the emerald and the carbon carbon and gold the workmanship of thy uh, tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in the in the day that thou was created hmm. verse 15 hmm. thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee ah see thou was created perfect till iniquity was found in thee so he was placed in the garden of eden dear brethren so in garden of eden you see he was placed so this is speaking about actually king uh, of uh, tyrus we all know very well that the king of tyrus was actually a type of uh, lucifer because he never was uh, yeah anointed cherub he never was in the garden of eden so this is actually speaking about lucifer and there was another morning star you see can anybody tell me who is the another morning star in the bible who is the other morning star in the bible jesus christ very jesus good christ. very good jesus christ so jesus christ is called as the bright morning star so that means if both are called morning star then definitely both should be together at some time no is it uh, given in the bible yes in job 38 chapter was 6 and 7 if you see it's given that the, you see the both morning stars sang together let us read job 38 6 and 7 Uh, Amar brother or Romeo sister, can you read Job thirty-eight six and seven? Six and seven. Where one are the. foundations um their of fasting or who laid the corner stone um their of when the morning stars sang together and all the songs of god um shouted for joy ah when the morning stars sang together you see morning stars that means plural both of them sang together they were all good you see when the foundation for this earth was laid dear brethren you see this is how you see everything was uh, you see uh, uh, good okay and today we don't have uh, any ppt uh, so i haven't prepared any ppt about uh, our adversary yeah that's the reason i will just have uh, uh, the discourse without the ppt okay you can just read the scriptures as i quote uh, you can open your bible and read see uh then how did uh, you see lucifer became uh, you see the uh, adversary of god uh, if you see the then you see man uh, was created uh, in the image of god and uh, god had made him uh, the king of this entire earth this world was his kingdom so he was placed in this kingdom he was placed as the king of this earth <clears throat> you see then dear brethren you see huh eh, god you see made adam as a king of this whole you see creation of god on this earth and made lucifer who was a morning star to be a guardian angel over this first creation that means uh, like a watchman and uh, you see uh, lucifer uh, began to misunderstand uh, god's purposes and plans you see he should have uh, humbling himself to be a guardian uh, over a human being 
He thought, I am a morning star. Instead of making me as a king of this earth, God has made to made me to be, you see, uh, uh, a servant, uh, you see, a guardian angel, like a watchman uh, for this Christ, first creation. So, he could not, uh, you see, humble himself to such an extent uh, so as to be the watchman of first uh, creation. He misunderstood God. Dear brother, it is like example, you see, uh, this was actually a test permitted by God to, uh, you see, uh, uh, Lucifer. But he failed in the test. Imagine if you are uh, managing a company and from tomorrow, you see, if a boss comes and tells that you are no more a manager, instead of that you are a, uh, you see, uh, you should work as a watchman. So what will be our reaction? You see, immediately our reaction will be uh, very different. Uh, we won't be able to humble in such an extent. And as we keep on seeing our boss daily going here and there and saluting him, you see, immediately the thought will cross in our mind that, uh, oh, I was so great, he has made me so low. I should do something for him. You see, it is the same thought, dear brother Anna. You see, that, uh, you see, which was had in the mind of, uh, you see, uh, a Lucifer. Uh, so, instead of, uh, you see, humbling himself uh, to be to such an extent, uh, dear brother, and he thought evil about God. Uh, that is the time, you see, he thought, uh, instead of uh, me being uh, a watchman, if I can somehow control, uh, you see, Adam and Eve and bring them into my, you see, uh, subjugation, then I can be the king over all this earth. Uh, so that is how he deceived our first parents. Uh, we know very well how did he deceive the first parents. Uh, he used the serpent as a tool. He did not literally come uh, and spoke to Eve. The Bible says that uh, serpent spoke to Eve. He used the serpent as a tool to speak uh, you see, to whom? Uh, you see, to speak to our uh, you see, the first uh, creation, Adam and Eve. How? You see, he would have made the serpent to eat the forbidden fruit. And uh, he would have seen this uh, sight of uh, eating the forbidden fruit. Immediately, the thought would have crossed uh, in a mind, uh, saying, why this uh, serpent is eating the fruit and still alive? Immediately, the th reply would have come in uh, thoughts only. So, all these things happened in the thoughts. Uh, we all know very well that action speaks louder than voice. Uh, you see, so there's so many things that happen in our thoughts, uh, you see, uh, that gives a lot of effect, uh, you see, dear brethren. So, so thoughts, uh, you see, thoughts. Uh, so, the first question that came, uh, it came through the serpent. Therefore, the question mark is put in the form of a serpent's hood. So, immediately the reply would have come, no, you won't die, you'll surely not die. Then again, one more thought would have come, why? Uh, then uh, God told not to eat. Uh, and Satan would have replied, if you eat, uh, God fears that you will become like God. You see, there is no death, nothing. So you can eat. So in this interest uh, that you will become like God, uh, eat the forbidden fruit. Uh, so that is how he deceived our first parents. Therefore, Jesus calls him as a father of lies. He is the inventor of lies. And when he speaks lies, he speaks of his own. It seems. See, John 8.44. Munas Sutar, can you read John 8.44? Munas Sutar, John 8.44. Okay, brother. Ye are of your father's the devil and the lost of your father you will do he has a murder in the truth because well, there mm. is no truth in him mm. when he speaketh a lie he, he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the prophet very good he is a liar and the father of it you see when uh, lucifer told a lie that you shall surely not die Really, dear brethren, he did not want to really tell the lie, you see. But, like, for in, in fact, nobody has seen death till then, okay? When God told that you will surely die, this was actually a surprise to everybody, you see. And uh, Satan also 
told a lie saying oh nothing will happen i have never seen death so you will not die you see but once when uh, first uh, you see son of uh, uh, adam kain was murdered by abel he began to corrupt uh, then only lucifer realized oh, oh this is the meaning of death uh, dear brethren since that time he is busy deceiving everybody proving that man actually doesn't die you see so he is trying to cover that lie where uh, god told that you shall surely die he is trying to prove that uh, every man doesn't die the soul goes here the soul goes there as soon as a man dies you see dear brethren just because of this one lying that you shall surely not die today the people are running around uh, you see many pilgrim pray places uh, many gods uh, you see many rituals uh, you see or else uh, dear brethren if a man would have realized that really there is nothing of the death they are really dead it is only at the resurrection they will come back to life then really all the people would have sought a savior who can save from this death and they would have come to know about god's plan and purposes and god's love but satan doesn't want this thing only to happen therefore dear brethren is busy blinding all minds therefore what did apostle paul call him in second corinthians 4:4 he said no the god of this world has blinded the eyes of many read second corinthians 4:4 Second Corinthians four four. Joel brother, can you read Second Corinthians four four brother? Okay brother. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should should sign on to them ah you see the god of this world has blinded the eyes of many you see this is what uh, satan wants uh. he never wants the people to come to the knowledge of god's truth the real character about god he is against the bible and against the truth therefore he is try to destroy this faith this truth uh, you see in various ways and one of the excellent ways that he is uh, you see Uh, done this one it is uh, by developing the great anti christ system you see the paper system you see and in the paper system he wonderfully used the, the so called god's children you see into destroy the bible the bible was kept in dead language who so over read the bible who so over test the bible who so over try to translate the bible from the dead language latin into other languages they were killed they were slaughtered therefore you see the bible we say the calls that antichrist system as the man of sin as you see satan himself because that system was developed by satan himself so initially you see satan was alone we all know very well when he deceived adam and eve nobody was there with him he was only one person he was only alone but later you see Uh, when god sent uh, the angels to protect mankind uh, you see and what happened was that uh, you see he deceived uh, even the angels to commit sin uh, you see against god uh, you see uh, when uh, they were given the privilege to manifest and even manifest in the flesh what happens uh, you see they began to uh, come in the flesh and have relationship with the women and because of the genes were born and this was actually a sin uh, in god's sight for god uh, you see destroyed all the giants in a flood and uh, in the flood uh, these angels had the privilege to change over from the spiritual body to human body hence they were bound in earth atmosphere uh, you see uh, where uh, from where uh, they can never come back to earth uh, neither can they go back to heaven they are bound in earth atmosphere therefore in ephesians 2 to what is he called as uh, lucifer is called as the prince of the power of the air prince means what uh, they are subordinates also so who is uh, uh, the prince uh, satan who are the subordinates uh, who are along with him is uh, the fallen angels let us read ephesians 22 ephesians 22 uh, amar brother can you read ephesians 22 yes brother uh, 
wherein the time passed uh, e walk according to the course of this world according to the uh, prince of the power of the air the ah. spirit hmm. now works in the children of uh, disobedience very good the prince of the power of the air you see yeah satan uh, huh? so he is now working from the earth atmosphere he can never come in the flesh so today how is he you see deceiving the mankind it is by possession of the human body who is having weak will power whose the will power is weak you see you see satan and the fallen angels are using their body and through their body is doing all sorts of evil activities therefore you say during the days of jesus jesus cast out many devils what did the devils cry out they clearly recognized jesus he was the son of the god you see and god had clearly forbidden the people of israel never to have communication with the dead people because the dead never speak so who speaks in the form of the dead body or a dead person it was these fallen angels remember the story of king saul where he went and sought a witch of endor you see to speak to dead samuel there was a deception of the devil today also you know in this modern days he is using the technology you know with the audio video technology he is deceiving the mankind and showing that man is really not dead you see and sometimes even the devil clearly claim that they are devil himself so devil is devil casting out today so today this is what is doing in the world but among the nominal churches that means among the christians who are not heard this truth how is uh, the devil uh, deceiving if you see the brethren he is uh, deceiving them as if showing that he is the angel of light uh, read second corinthians 11 chapter 13 to 15 second corinthians 11 chapter 13 to 15 uh joel brother can you read second corinthians 11 chapter 13 to 15 Okay, for such such are false apostles full workers transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ and no marvel for certain himself is transformed into an angel of light mm -hmm. Satan himself is transformed as angel of light. Ah, huh. continue. Therefore, it is no great. There, therefore, it is no great things if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose in shall be according to their works. power defense ah you see so whose work you see his always him sir his ministers also shall transform into the angel of light satan won't come like satan he comes in sheep clothing wolf in sheep clothing you see very docile very neat very smart like beni in dinakar saint anthony you see doing very very great wonders great miracles healing speaking tongues you see we all have studied about these things very detailedly in the tongues miracles class so dear brethren so satan is uh, clearly deceiving everybody with duplicate miracles duplicate healings you see duplicate speaking tongues you see dear brethren and jesus warned us before everything clearly that uh, in the end times these things will happen so don't believe it see matthew 7 chapter 21 to 23 uh, gopal brother can you read matthew 7 chapter 21 to 23 okay brother Twenty-one to twenty-three, brother. Hmm. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. 
many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, uh, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Ah, you see, dear brother, what does uh, huh? Jesus say? Many will come in that day. I have prophesied in him. I have done great wonders in thy name. I cast out devils in thy name. But Jesus clearly says, you workers of iniquity, I don't know you. If really, just tell me, if these have done in the name of Jesus, why should Jesus reject them? Jesus should acknowledge them, no. But why Jesus is not acknowledging? Because this is the sign of the end. In the end times, Satan will deceive Satan himself. That means Satan will cast out Satan. He will do double acting. He himself get possessed and he himself will cast out himself. You see, that is not a great thing at all. Jesus clearly warned that when these things are happening, it is a clear sign that his kingdom is not standing. Read Luke 11 chapter 17 verse. Luke 11 chapter 17 verse. Well, somebody can read. Okay. Oh, no, don't uh, wait for me to call the names. You can definitely read. I'm uh, uh, most welcome <laughs> for anybody who can open the Bible and read uh, immediately. Luke seventeen, Luke eleven seventeen. Okay, brother. Hmm. But he, knowing their uh, their thoughts, said unto them, "Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house of divide." against an house palace. Fall. Very good. Uh, see, huh? house divided against itself shall fall. It won't stand, dear brethren. This is what is happening, dear brethren, today. Jesus has already returned and his kingdom is being established. He is uh, busy deceiving everybody and destroying everybody, dear brethren. Uh, therefore, dear brethren, you see, uh, this is the trick of the devil. The whole world, you see, he's been uh, deceived uh, by the devil. And so the whole world is called in the Bible as children of disobedience. And uh, hence, uh, our fight is not actually with any brother or sisters. Our fight is against the devil, uh, not against the word. Uh, you see, Satan is operating uh, through the world people. Therefore, you see, uh, uh, when Jesus was crucified, who actually crucified him? You see, actually, you see, Satan used the people to crucify him on the cross. Then, you know, the Bible says that those people who crucified Jesus, they really did not know that Jesus was the Messiah because they were totally blinded. If they knew, they wouldn't have crucified our master on the cross. Read 1 Corinthians 2, 8. 1 Corinthians 2, chapter 8, verse uh, Munna sister, can you read? 1 Corinthians 2 8. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for he, de, he for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. glory. Mm, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Dear brethren, they would not have crucified the Lord. Uh, you see, they would have never done it. You see, dear brethren. So, they did it in ignorance. They were, you see, the people were totally blinded and deceived by the adversary. See, Jesus was sympathetic with the, his the people who crucified him also. You see, so, dear brethren, now, how is attacking the consecrated? You see, now, we have uh, consecrated we are under divine uh, protection. So, how Satan deceives us? You see, you see, huh? he deceives us with uh, false thoughts. Now, first, one of the false thoughts is that uh, he tells uh, that uh, you are consecrated. So, no evil can uh, come upon you without God's permission. So, if something happens to us uh, or if some sickness or uh, 
is a disease comes to her you see immediately the thought will come out oh, is because of the devil so devil has uh, you are uh, gone away from god therefore devil has attacked you therefore all the sickness and the, you see disease has come to you you see but he puts a thought in that way to not take any medicines but keep on praying to god you see God uh, did healing to the fleshly Israel. So similarly, when sickness comes, when you fall ill, if you pray to God, what will happen? All the sickness will go away. But first to think, uh, if God, you see, protected, uh, you see, if God's protection was already there upon us, uh, and God has already promised us, then why would first of all, uh, the sickness would come to us? Uh, it should never come, no. If it has come, there must be some lesson in it, uh, what is the lesson? You see, those things are permitted in our life so that we may understand our other brothers and sisters, so that we may understand the world who is going to be resurrected and come back to life, who is going to have all these shortcomings, uh, infirmities in them. It is to understand others that God permits these things in our life. Uh, sickness, uh, you see pain, you see diseases. Read, uh, Hebrews 4, chapter 15 and 16. Hebrews 4, chapter 15 and 16. Who can read? Hebrews 4, 15 and 16. Hmm. Okay, brother. Um, 15 and 16? Yeah. For we have not an high priest which cannot be Touch with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us there, therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find the grace to help in time of need. Ah, you see? What did the uh, year uh, say? You see, we have an high priest uh, who is touched with our uh, weaknesses. He understands uh, our weakness, our pain, our how? Because he has undergone the same thing. So similarly, dear brethren, in the world, you see, the same trials and tribulations will be permitted in our life. You know why? So that we can understand the world uh, better uh, as Jesus is understanding us. Uh, so therefore, if uh, any, you see, sickness comes, the so first thing is that uh, we should uh, take some medicines and humble before our God. And we should take this, uh, you see, experiences and develop that sympathetic, humble character and develop Christ-likeness, dear brother, so that we can understand others who are having the same, uh, you see, experiences. Okay. The next thing, Satan diseases, you see, if we are... Uh, you see, huh? uh, it tells that uh, you should not test the things uh, which are uh, done by the world, which are, uh, you see, uh, created by or developed or uh, prepared, uh, you see, by the Gentiles. Uh, you see, like for example, you see, uh, there are so many things uh, which we use in our day-to-day -day life, the commodities, everything, let, let it be anything. You see, now who prepares all those things? Uh? These are prepared by the Gentiles. And how do they prepare? You see, uh, they definitely offer to their gods only. And uh, then only they bring it to the market to sell it. Uh, you see, and uh, Satan puts the thought, oh, whatever is offered to them, we should never use it. Uh, day of the end, can we grow our own grain? Can we, uh, you see, uh, have our own sheep and take the wool from it and prepare our own clothes? Or can we put our own road and go? No, dear brethren, uh, you see, it is not at all possible. Our Lord drank from the well through the hand of a Samaritan woman who, uh, who was actually having many husbands. You see, there was the fornication. When our Lord was hungry, he ate the food from the general normal people. You see, from sinners, you see, from publicans, you see, even to the house of you see, sinners only, tax collectors, you see. Therefore, dear brethren, in all these things, uh, we should be very careful. See, we can never go out of the world. The world is completely this one. In this world, we need to be very cautious as much as possible. Uh, you see, so, 
and uh, uh, whenever there is rain we should uh, take the umbrella and go we should never tell that oh god will stop the rain especially for me we are not some heaven's favorite or something you see whatever comes to the world the same thing comes to us also <laughs> let it be rain shine sunshine anything so we should not demand this special thing especially uh, for us from uh, our god dear brother na so we should be very careful uh, you see so i'll tell you an example a small story uh, there was a christian you see who was a very very dedicated christian and uh, who pray to the lord often and he was very you see he loved the lord very much so once what what happened there was a flood uh, that came uh, you see in his place it is what happened everything got submerged so this christian he had no other place than to come to the tallest building on this uh, you see area then on the terrace he sat there and prayed to the god prayed to god that god may somehow save him so then what happened as he was praying one boat came it seems uh, then all the people other uh, you see gentiles and all those people were there it seems uh, pujaris and all those people over there they told oh come 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 please come uh, let us escape uh, you see the water level is rising you will die then he told no 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 you please go i am praying to god my god will send uh, uh, a boat for me he will save me then uh, nothing happened so he kept on praying again it seems so he kept on praying 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 you see then you see uh, what happened uh, another boat came it seems in that one only muslim smallas all these people were there it seems so then they told oh come come please uh, why are you staying here come uh, we'll all go together he told no 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 i am praying to my god god will send a boat nothing happened so he went on then third boat came in that one you know other people the buddhist jains all those things they told again come he never went to him so ultimately what happened he kept on praying water came and he was completely flooded and he died he seems then he went to heaven he seems then he went to heaven he, he told god god i was so much uh, in love with you i was loved you so much uh, you see i worshiped you so much i did so many things to you even on the uh, day when i was supposed to die you see i prayed to you that you may come and save me but you never heard my prayer I was very upset it seems sir then god told my son i had sent three boats to save you but you only did not uh, select the tram so god never uses some special tool a special separate thing for us dear brethren whatever is there in that one only god uses to save us in all these things dear brethren we need to use little bit of our common sense see moreover god has given us spiritual sense also you see so we should be very careful you see we can't see the devil but devil can see us you see devil you see can read our thoughts also in the bible there's so many incident that jesus read the thoughts of other person similarly you know satan also can read our thoughts you know when jesus fasted you see when jesus was in 40 years fasting you see satan came and tempted jesus christ jesus jesus was attacked by the devil now when did uh, Uh, Lucifer come and attack uh, the devil. Let us read that verse, Matthew four chapter, verses two. Uh, Can somebody read? Matthew four two, four chapter second verse. Matthew four chapter. Ah, hmm. please. Forty please. days and forty nights he was afterward and hungered. Ah. then continue and when the tempter came to him he ah, said you see when did the tempter come to him when jesus was hungered imagine 40 days jesus never felt the hunger but once when he felt the hunger you see the thoughts okay okay somebody feel hunger he can't be expressed outside that's our thoughts or feelings are all inside so that the thoughts was read by the adversary immediately what happened you see next moment immediately huh? satan came it seems to tempt jesus christ it is the same way dear brethren we can't read his thoughts he can definitely read our thoughts to certain extent uh, you see and based on our thoughts immediately correctly attacks us uh, precisely deceiving us therefore in the bible you know lucifer is called as what satan is called as what uh, a roaring 
lion hmm? how is he roaring it seems how is he roaming read first peter 5:8 First Peter five eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Ah, seeking whom he may devour is roaring. Ah, uh -huh. how does a lion come? Does it come with a very, you see, sound? comes very silently attacks the prey dear brethren that is how you see satan is deceiving us dear brethren so we should be very careful and one of the ways that satan you see deceives us is moving our thoughts and minds away from our consecration you see huh? uh example of uh, causing a quarrel between the brethren you see divide and rule you see a, a kingdom divided against itself can never stand this is what Satan does, dear brethren. You see, he is causing, you see, quarreling between the brethren. Create misunderstandings, you see, and not giving forgiveness to the brothers or not loving the brethren. You see, seeing them from the weakness point of view. See, everybody has weakness. So all the five fingers are not so equal. So we should cooperate with each other and walk and Satan tries to deceive, saying, only you be alone, only you, only I, only we. You see, I. Now, who's, who's the thought? That is the thought of the devil, dear brethren. That's what uh, he also thought. You know, Isaiah 14 chapter he says, I shall ascend uh, into the mount of the congregation. I shall sit upon the throne. I shall be like the most. I, 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 I. Dear brethren, we should never say I. We should say we. That is what Jesus thought. That is what Jesus prayed. What did Jesus say? Father, even as I and you are one, even as I am in you and you are in me, I pray that they may all be one. You see, that was the prayer of Jesus. You see, this mind has to be developed among us. You see, John uh, John, John 17 chapter, John 17 chapter um, 21, John 17, 21. That they all may be one as thou, Father, are in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. You see, that they may be one in us, not that they may be huh, single in us. No, 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 no. Why? So the world may see this oneness and believe in Jesus. Dear brethren, you see, and uh, other, uh, you see, attacks of the devil is that, you see, he tries to get uh, as attacked uh, during witnessing to somebody. You see, getting persecuted during witnessing about Jesus to somebody. You see, but we should be very cautious while witnessing. We should not witness to everybody, you see, whomever you see. We should never cast our pearl before the swine. Jesus said, no, cast not the pearl before the swine. You see, it shall... Uh, Tear it in pieces. It doesn't know the value. The God's children should be harmless as dove and, uh, you see, wise as serpents. When something evil is expected to happen, it's better that we escape from that place. Uh. So Jesus witnessed to so many people. He taught the truth. But every time uh, he was, uh, you see, the people sought him to be persecuted or stone him. But what did Jesus do? Each and every incident, Jesus escaped. Jesus never stood in between them boldly. That is how we should also be. See, read John. John. Uh, eight chapter. 59th verse. John 8, 59.
Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them and so passed by. Mm -hmm. You see, they took the stones to stone him, but what did happen? Jesus passed in between them. He never stood boldly, okay, hit me. This is one of the attacks of that. We should be very careful. And one more thing is that Satan always attacks us through the unconsecrated. Therefore, whenever we take class, we tell, let all the family listen to the class. Or else what will happen? One unconsecrated is there. Satan will try to attack us through that unconsecrated brethren. You see? So, we should be very, very careful. You see, uh, how Satan attacks us. How did, uh, you see, he attack uh, Adam? He knew very well that Adam is very firm. He knew clearly that uh, if I eat this fruit, I'm going to die. But was a weaker vessel. Eve. He attacked Adam through Eve. He similarly, consecrated is always attacked through the unconsecrated. Therefore, dear brethren, how to fight this adversary? Imagine you use a morning star who has got a lot of uh, thousands, thousands of years of experience, who is so wise, you see, who is uh, a, you see, a angel. Today is in earth atmosphere. He can have an eagle side view upon everybody. Now, how do we fight him? You see, the only way we can fight is that wear the armor of God. Read Ephesians 6 chapter. Where is it given? Which is the armor of God? Ephesians 6 chapter. Ephesians 6 chapter. 11th verse. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the uh, wild of the devil. Hmm. Put on the whole armor of God. Now, which is the whole armor? Read from uh, verse uh, 13 to verse uh, 17, brother. Huh. Hmm. Uh, wherefore take uh, unto you the whole armor of God that he may be able to uh, withstand in the evil day and uh, having done all to stand stand therefore having your loin gold guard about with the truth ah, and having see, what does he say First, you should wear this armor of God. What is this armor? If a warrior is going for a battlefield to fight, he wears the armor, no? So similarly, this is the armor to fight the devil, to stand, to resist him. We need to wear this. First, what is the one? Gird the lions with the, the truth. What is the girding the lions? Putting the belt. Imagine, you see, if you don't put the belt and if you go to the battlefield, what will happen? If our pant is loose, you see, we can't fight. You see, it will fall down. So, to be stiff, you see, we should be girdled in the truth. We should be very, very strong in the truth. You see, dear brain. So, we should be very, very careful, very strong in the truth. Dear brain, should be very, very strong. For that one, study the word of God is very, very important. Next, brother. Continue, brother. Huh? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Ah, breastplate of righteousness. God has justified us in Christ. Breastplate. If there's a breastplate, we can direct it boldly go. Even if the bullet comes, we can uh, you see, fight. If you're having bulletproof jacket, uh, that boldness, that courage. When will you get? Only if you are justified, you see, from God's sight. Only if you are, you see, good in God's sight. Continue next. Huh? And your feet should with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hmm, feet. Shoes we should be wearing, no? Without shoes, we can't go to our battlefield, no? Very dangerous. Something pricks our feet. We can't fight. Shoes of 
peace preaching the gospel of peace not the gospel of hell if you accept christ you will be saved or else you will go to hell no 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 if you accept now heavenly salvation if you don't accept no need to worry god has made a plan earthly salvation is there that is the peace the truth of peace then continue with it huh? above all taking the seal of faith ah shield well, we... faith you see shield shield should be required you see faith to resist the attacks the arrows you see what are the arrows continue with that ha where with he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked ah where wicked. you will able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked fiery darts you see all the arrows you see that means thoughts he will thoughts what all satan gives us in our mind how do you fight it how do you resist it how do you overcome it by faith this is the victory that overcomes the world the faith how did jesus overcome the devil when he gave the thought to make the stone into bread and eat by faith same way by faith on god What is Jesus reply? Man shall not live by bread alone. You see, the same thought should come to our mind. Then continue. Ah. Huh? And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the ah. word of God. See, helmet of salvation. Head injury should be saved. You see, always our only salvation thought should be there. The crit, the crown shall be given to us. The sight. Then sword. What is the sword? Ah, uh -huh. the sword of uh, spirit, word of God. You see, sword should be there. Many people have the sword, but it is not sharp at all. That means what? Ah, uh, always keep on. You see, use the word of God so that it can be always sharp. We should be using the word of God daily. Read the scriptures, brother. Daily read the Bible. Daily read the volumes. Daily read so many books. Whatever you have, you see. this is very very important to sustain and stand in the truth therefore dear brethren you see huh? to attack the adversary this is the only way that we can overcome it but we all know very well that satan is not going to be a very long you see the bible says that uh, he is going to be bound for a thousand years but after thousand years what will happen now you see he should be released again he should deceive many people but uh, after that little season he should be destroyed you see by fire from heaven but all the people may come to know that satan was the adversary of god and he is the truth he is the fact and not this uh, myth okay dear brethren therefore this is the subject uh, on the class of the adversary any doubts any questions you have you can please let me know anybody any doubts any questions no questions brother okay uh amma brother any questions uh no question brother thank you so much god bless gopal brother joel brother munaster anybody any questions no question brother no question brother okay then we'll end with a word of prayer can anybody offer a prayer Who can offer a prayer? Uh, 